Hi babies and welcome to Monday's episode where on this week's episode we are going to talk about the sexy questions to ask your partner about sex or I guess I could say hot questions to ask your partner about sex. Yeah, we're going to go with that. That is the title. I've just decided it right now. We are dropping in. We are tuning into our bodies. We are perking up our ears and we are are going to listen. But first, before we get started, if you are new here, hi, I'm Miranda, I am Pleasure Baby. And if you haven't done so already, hit that little button down below, the subscribe button, and give this video a thumbs up because every single Monday at 8 p.m. Central Time is when I release my sexy, juicy, relationshipy, lovey type of fuck fun videos and I almost guarantee that you will learn something each time to bring into the bedroom or to bring into your relationships. But first, I would like to draw attention to this beautiful crew neck that I am wearing. It is from Resilient Apparel and it is dynamite. It is unisex. It's got these like bat wing sleeves. I got a little logo here. It's nice and comfy and cozy for winter because you know the weather is fucking cold and I will not be going anywhere without my sweats, without my hoodie, and neither should you. So the link is down below and you are more than welcome to buy some stuff because like, <laughs> you should want to. So like, I don't know about where you guys are in the world, but where I am in Canada, in Manitoba specifically, we just got hit with a shit ton of snow and it is feeling a lot like Christmas. And we just left Halloween and I love Halloween, but now, but now I'm starting to want, I'm starting to want Christmas. I'm gonna show you what I'm looking at outside right now so you can just get those vibes too if you are in the States or in somewhere else in the world and you don't have snow. You can have some of my snow. Like, look at that white puffy snow. Hello, welcome to Monday's episode where the snow is gonna teach you sexual things. <laughs> so let's get started for what you guys actually came for and it's those hot steamy questions to get the conversation flowing. And the reason why we want to do this is because we're trying to learn about our partner while potentially turning them on or finding out things that we didn't even know about ourselves. And hey, maybe at the end of all these questions and conversations, you'll be like, holy shit, I wish I would have asked this sooner because we actually like the same thing and we've just been doing vanilla shit not that nothing is wrong with vanilla vanilla is good vanilla is beautiful if that is all you like then that is the fundamentals and that is where you will be improving in because life is about learning and here we are learning so we can still ask these questions even if we are into vanilla lego to question number one this one's honestly my favorite question to ask people or ask partners or people who I am intimate with. And it is, how do you like touching yourself? Yes, how do you like masturbating? Now, why would you ask a question like this? Hmm, could it be because you know your body best? Yeah, exactly. I wanna know how you enjoy the grip. I can't say that on here a lubrication, maybe even a technique that they just love, we can put that in our toolboxes and make that mental note and bring it back out the next time. So that way it's not like something that they just do, but it's something that we can do. Number two, the question that everybody always tries to avoid and it's like, oh no, 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 we're not doing that when it is ass. And it is, how do you feel about butt stuff? Yes, bust stuff, booty hole play. That can be anal, that can be eating booty, that can be a butt plug, that can be pegging, that can be so many things. It could even just be a finger. It could just be pressure on the prostate. It doesn't have to be penis in anus or anal penetration. That isn't for everybody. But one thing to keep in mind is that there is a ton of sensations and there is a such thing as an anal 
orgasm. There are so many nerve endings that people just seem to forget about and rate it off because they think it's quote unquote gay if they're in a hetero relationship. When in fact, that is not what makes you gay people. But besides establishing consent of the butt stuff, how do we talk about it? You break the ice by asking the question, would you wanna try butt stuff? I was thinking about trying butt stuff. I like butt stuff. And then if they say yes, then your relationship, your sexual relationship is about to elevate to the next level. So yes, ask, do you like butt stuff? Would you like to try some butt stuff? Number three, time to step out of your body and into somebody else's. What do we have here? And it is role play. Yes, role play. What is your ideal role play? Time to spice things up. Are you the boss and the employee? Are you the professor or the student? What about the classic maid and butler? or potentially the stranger at the bar. Either way, discussing the role play fantasies that you and your partner have might actually make that fantasy come true. Number four, if you don't wanna dive right into that role play and bomb them with that question, then you can do something a little more sneaky. And it's asking them, what type of porn do you like watching? Yes. Porn or erotica if you want to read erotica or listen to erotica. What do you enjoy to watch slash read? What do you like to consume other than genitalia? This question will pave the path so that you can understand some themes, maybe some fantasies, maybe some role play ideas without actually diving into the role play question. And if you're anything like me, I honestly just want to know. I'm just curious. Number five might just keep this relationship alive. Maybe you are ready to dive into your deepest fears of expressing, and that is your kinks. You should not just keep those locked up in a closet. Express those to your partner, because how fucking sexy would it be if you guys came together and were like, oh my God, you just asked the kink question. This is my chance to shine and say what kink I like, and then what happens if you were suppressing this for so long, and then boom, you guys like the same kink. And then now you can actually bring your kink, which was just a fantasy, into real life. So some kinks are the classic foot fetish, exhibitionism, voyeurism. There's the pregnancy fetish, the nylon fetish, the breath play. And well, I mean, we can't forget the classic BDSM. But with all the kinks in the world, by you offering them this safe space, because you're not asking this question out of aggression, you are asking this how to turn them on, and you are just curious. It doesn't mean you have to do these things, but you're giving them that space to express themselves and feel vulnerable. So make sure there is no judgment here. If you're curious more, ask more questions. Why do you enjoy it? When did you first notice that you enjoyed this? These things and these questions give you insight to their naughtiest desires while offering them the ability and capability to keep it in a fantasy light. And also, some people like to keep their kinks in fantasy, but you never know. Maybe they want to bring it into the bedroom or wherever it might take you. Number six. This is a pretty easy, basic question. However, it's not asked enough. And sometimes it can blow your mind and you can be like, oh, I, I definitely thought you were blah, blah, blah. And that is, are you a dom? Are you a submissive? Or are you a switch? Now I know as a female being in a few different heterosexual relationships, Lots of people just assume that the man is dominant and that is not always the case. Now, I like to consider myself a switch because I do like to be in control and I do like to be a little bit submissive sometimes. If I were to gravitate to one more, it would definitely be more dominant. That is a faux sure. But the fact is, you don't know the answer until you ask this question. When you ask this question, it kind of opens the door into a new realm. Then you can take your answers and start incorporating it into sex. 
obviously discuss your guidelines ahead of time because this can be a gray area. So we wanna make sure it is crystal clear before you go into the act. Cause now we're tapping into kinks. Number seven is for the ears. You're trying to stimulate their ears and you wanna know what is the sexiest music that they like or what is a sexy playlist that you have. And this is just so that when they come home, you can have that playlist on. And that's kind of like a, hey, I remember you enjoyed this. Or I remember you liked this song. And that can be your initiation. Or even better, you can combine your sexy playlist with their sexy playlist. And then, boom, you got the best of both worlds. Number seven. Now, at this question, you might already be turned on and not listening anymore. But... Anyways, we are gonna continue all the way up to number 10. So number seven is going to get you wet or aroused AF. And it is, do you like it when I take you deep or do you like it when you take me deep? Yes, this is a penetration question. Not only does this give you a visual in your head and start painting that picture of you doing the penetration yourself and with your partner, but it also kind of paves the path for the next question, which is what is your favorite sex position? Now, usually when you think about a form of penetration, you jump right to your most favorite sex position. Now, there is nothing like trying a new sex position, right? Because we are at number eight now. I'm sorry, I totally forgot to announce that. Do you want to try a new sex position or what is your favorite sex position? So I guess that's kind of like two questions. But we're going to hit two balls with one stone. <laughs> ah, that doesn't really work, but I'm going to just roll with that. So there is nothing like trying something new, putting down that new layer for your sexual experiences. Yes, it might be embarrassing. Yes, it might be funny. It might be messy. Whatever it might be, that is the point of sex. It's dirty. It's messy. It's funny. It's fucking stinky. It's got sweat everywhere. It is just, it's just great. But this is a good way of bringing a sex position into the bedroom that maybe you hadn't even thought about and you are willing to try it because your partner is into it and maybe it interests you too. Number nine is one of my favorite questions to ask as well. Obviously, I throw in my favorites in here, kind of scattered throughout so that you stay watching. Here is my dominance. Sorry. Dial it back a bit. Are you a receiver or are you a giver? Talking about this and figuring out where your partner stands, hey, maybe you guys are both givers or maybe you guys are both receivers. It helps you kind of bridge together the gap and please each other on the same level. For myself, I am definitely a giver. I love giving. It turns me on to give and then I like to receive. But if I had to choose, I would give all day long but this can help you kind of understand where your partner's stand is on oral sex which some people don't like and that's fine and number 10 last but not least would you ever make a sex tape this doesn't mean you have to make one but the idea of being filmed even if it's only for one person's eyes can be such a turn on for some maybe even it would suffice if you just talk about what you would do in the movie or i guess what would you do in your sex tape to create the mood to create the vibe to make one of your very own sex tape videos i mean hey you can always videotape yourself masturbate as well just make sure when you are doing these things they are kept in a vault in a trusted app locked away so that nobody else can get to them unless that's your thing but please remember that you need consent for that for sure and I'm just gonna say this right now because not everybody is the brightest bulb in the tanning bed so I just just need to say this by asking these questions doesn't give you consent to do any of these things these are all just questions to help kind of understand your partner and maybe get the vibe and the mood going some of these are just planting seeds and maybe one day in the future these seeds will turn into flowers and then 
these questions might come alive for you both or for multiples. Either way, if you made it this far into the video, congratulations, you made it through all 10 sex questions. Now, if you thought this video was bomb or you like it or you just wanna support me, please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because next Monday, I'm gonna bring to you another juicy topic and you're gonna sit your bottom down and listen. Okay, I'm done. Thank you. Bye, babies.